right, we're going to try this again. Take two. Apparently Chrome crashed on me on that first video there. So good Monday morning. Welcome to the Monday Morning Mojo. My name is Amy Schrader. I'm a realtor with Remax Real Estate 10. Today we're going to talk with you about six reasons why a buyer may not be choosing your home. So if your home's for sale, you're not getting any offers, you may want to pay attention. Or if you're thinking about listing your home in the next couple of months, you definitely want to pay attention so that you're not making these same mistakes. Okay. The first reason I'm going to give you are your listing photos. Okay. Now we have gotten to the point where most agents in our area are using a professional photographer to go out and take listing photos. But I did say most, not all. So if you're talking to an agent about listing your home and you say, okay, well, when are, when are pictures going to be made? And they pull out their cell phone or their 35 millimeter camera and say, oh, I'm ready now. Are you, you may want to think about getting another agent out there. Okay. Um, most agents in today's world are using a professional photographer. So if your agent is planning on using their own cell phone or their 35 millimeter camera to take pictures, I would suggest you talk to another agent. Um, and I can tell you from personal experience, um, this has been a couple of years ago. I had a house, um, the seller had come to me, they had been listed previously and they had been listed with this other agent for like six months and they had no showings. They had no offers. And I say no showings. I mean, they might've had two or three, but I looked at the pictures on the MLS and they were horrible. I mean, the house looks so dark and dungeon like. Um, so I gave them some tips on this is kind of some things that we need to do to get it ready. We got the professional photographer out there and the pictures were night and day difference. Um, and within a couple of weeks, we had their house under contract. So the listing photos do make a big deal. Even when we're in a tight market where we don't have a lot of inventory, you've got to make your house stand out so that people want to come see it. So make sure that your agent is using a professional photographer. The second reason buyers may not be choosing your home is because of clutter. Okay. And you hear people talk about this all the time, declutter, 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 declutter. But people don't, I, people apparently don't understand really what that means. Um, you can't have so much furniture and stuff in your house that people can't visualize themselves living there. Okay. So, you know, if you've got too much furniture in your house, invest in a storage unit, have a yard sale, do something to get rid of that extra furniture. Don't have stuff just sitting, you know, hodgepodge throughout the house. Everything should have a place and everything should be in its place. And if you don't have a place for it, then it either needs to be, you know, thrown away, donated to charity or sell it to yard sale, do something with it. Um, the third reason would be because of pet smells. Okay. I have a cat, love my cat dearly, would not ever give up my cat. But when you're listing your house to sell, you have to take into account that you may have become immune to those odors, but buyers are not going to be immune to those odors, especially when we've had all this rain lately. And so you have to keep your house closed up. Pet smells tend to stay inside and they're going to absorb into your curtains, your carpets, your couches, things like that, things that you may not think of. So, um, cats especially can be a challenge because of a litter box. So if you have a cat, I would suggest that you're cleaning that litter box out on a daily basis. Like before you leave for work, scoop it up, take it out. Um, that will definitely help. And then for the others, you know, Febreze helps a little bit, but just try to air rooms out where your pets tend to stay more often. Um, but pet smells are a big reason that buyers don't choose a house. Another reason related to smell would be the smoke smell. And again, I'm a smoker. Okay. May, some of y'all may not know that, but I am a smoker and I get it. You know, it's your house. You want to smoke in your house, but if you want to sell your house, you're going to have to start going outside to smoke and you're going to have to air your house out really well to get rid of that smell. Um, and I'm going to tell you that hit home for me several years ago. Uh, the first house that I owned, I smoked in it. I ain't gonna lie to you. And, um, ended up moving out of that house and moving back into a duplex 
where, you know, I wasn't allowed to smoke inside the duplex. So I had packed up all my clothes and totes and stuff and moved them to the new place. And then as the seasons changed and I went to pull my clothes out of these totes, I was amazed at how they smelled. Okay. So you become immune to it after a period of time, but the smell is definitely there. So if you're thinking about selling your house, I would definitely encourage you, you know, even if it's two to three months away, I would definitely encourage you to go ahead and start going outside to smoke. The house I own now, the first thing I did was have my patio covered um, so that when it rains or snows or whatever, I still have a covered place that I can go outside and smoke. So smoke smells will definitely affect a buyer wanting to purchase your home. Um, the attention to detail is another factor. And what I mean by that is what does your front door look like? Do you have cobwebs in the corners on the, around the doorbell? Um, most people, if they have a garage are coming in and out of their house through the garage and they never actually use the front door. So look at that because that's usually the way the buyer and their agent are coming into your house. Clean that area off, make it very inviting, very appealing. Um, light bulbs are another thing. I hate when I go to show a house and I'm flipping light switches and like half the bulbs are burning out. Okay. If you're listing your house for sale, take the 10 to 15 minutes to go through and make sure all your light bulbs are working. All right. Especially, like I said, we've had a lot of dark days recently with all the rain and those light bulbs will make a huge difference in the way your house shows. So just pay attention to the details. Um, what do your vents look like? What does the return look like? If it's coated with dust, then that's probably not going to be a good sign for your buyer because they're going to think, okay, well, how well are they really taking care of things in this house? Um, squeaky doors or doors that won't shut because the carpet's too high or whatever. Again, it's just little things, but pay attention to the details because if you pay attention to the details, the buyer's going to notice that you did. All right. And the last reason I'm going to tell you that buyers aren't choosing your house is because you're overpriced. And we see this a lot more when it is a seller's market. People say, well, you know, I've heard that inventory is low, so I want to start up here, even though I've told you that comps are here. And usually it's a ten dollars to $15,000 difference is what I've seen um, in my own dealings with some sellers. So listen to your agent and don't overprice your home because overpricing your home is going to mean you're going to be staying on the market. And the analogy I like to use is it's kind of like bread, stale bread. You know, when bread first goes on the market, you're at the market price and it will sell. But sometimes you've got too much bread. And so, you know, it's nearing the expiration date. What does that grocery store have to do? They have to deeply discount that bread in order to get it sold so that they don't have to throw it away. And the same thing is going to end up happening with your listing if you price it too high initially you're going to have to drop the price actually below the market value in order to get it sold. Because in a time when inventory is tight, if a house is on the market for 60, 90 days, buyers think, oh, what's wrong with that house? Why isn't it selling? And then you have to make it a bargain before buyers are going to jump on board and actually purchase the home. So I hope you have found this helpful six reasons why a buyer may not be choosing your house. If you're looking to sell, um, please give me a call. I'd love to work with you and help you get your home sold. My number is 423-748-8811, or you can leave a comment um, or message me on Facebook. Either of those will be fine. If you found this information useful, I hope that you will like or heart the video and then share it with somebody you know who may be looking to sell. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful Monday.